Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Wars Galaxies, me, Super Bitter Man. I would like to introduce you to my friend, um, Eo Solmkren. He is a cool dude, he shipwrights and doesn't afraid of anything. His very large eyes, very funny hat. Anyways, last time we left off, we, uh, we toured Corellia and, uh, introduced our good friend, our group work. And we raced around the very beautiful Agrilac Crystal Swamps. And in this video, sorry, I had to like burp there. Oh, I did that out. Sorry. But anyways, in this video, we're going to Talus, which uh, not cool. Off goes. And tell us, I'm not, I actually I'm not sure whether or not it's a moon of Krillia now. Krillia seems to have a lot of systems. Like, uh, like where the Slonians come from, where Drawls come from. Maybe the Krillian system just has like a whole bunch of different planets that, like, orbit around, like the librarian said, uh, a station. You know, I'd have to look it up. I don't know. Anyways, tell us, let's, uh, I don't know, let's go to Nishal. Why not? We'll save the Imperial Outpost for later. Kima, a fast and agile quadruped unique to Talus. The Kima hunts alone in, in remote rural areas. Kimas are known for their powerful and intimidating growl, which sets hearts pounding and turns the knees to jelly. But it looks so cute! How can it be so fearsome? Also, at the same time I'm uh, recording this, I am uploading the tour of Corellia up to YouTube. So, uh, yeah, my internet might be a little bit slow because of that. Just to warn you, just to warn you guys. Do do do, going into the show. Alright, um, oh, there goes the, uh, the shuttle, and the star part. Welcome to Nishal. Um, I have no history with this city. I think I, I think I lived in, uh, I think I lived, used to live in a city that was close by to here, and I would come here to, uh, just, like, go, go to the city. But yeah, no, no interesting, uh, who are you? Amiva Vanu. Apparently you're a... an Athorian chef. I'm sorry, but I am busy right now. If you can place your order with the order droid, I will get to, to you as soon as possible. Oh, order droid. I can't talk to the order droid. Your order droid is broken, good sir. What does your shirt say? Oh, I can't. Uh, I I can't recall what those symbols mean. Yeah, this is a uh, Nishal. I guess it's a cool place. What are these guys doing? Know me? Uh oh. This looks like it's related to a uh, legacy quest or something. It might be a rebel quest, considering the corpse is guarded by level 90 elite stormtroopers. Anyways, enough wasting time. Uh, let's wait for our, uh, our map to load. Like I said, it's, it might take a little bit longer to load things because of... yeah. Let's go to this Core Cypress Flail Battle. Uh, not this cave, it's just an NPC cave. Will, will this rebel notice these stormtroopers at all? Will there be a shootout? I think they're too far from from each other. 
dark. Anyways, I will meet you at the Corsair versus Foil battle. See you then. I guess while I'm on the road, I uh, might as well tell you a little bit about uh, Talos. It's a very similar ecosystem to, uh, to Corellia, though it's considerably more green. Uh, less oranges, less yellows. It's not, it's not as autumn-colored as, uh, as Corellia is. It's just kind of like an earthy planet, I guess. You know, nothing too special about it. Yeah, we are, we are almost there. I think. I can see the light. Oh. We were, uh, further away than I thought. Anyways. But we're almost there now, so... You know, whatever. Soon we'll see some Corsac versus Flails. Near the battlefield. Guess. Where's everybody? Where's the Corsac? Where are the fil flails at? You're not flails, you're Slonians. What's that on the radar? Ancient relic. What, what is this? What is this? This object is not. Yes, it does. Look at it. It's like an awesome. It's like an ancient lawful lamp or something. Old beyond imagining. This is a relic of a bygone area, era. Man. If I were Crunch Bar, I'd totally just pick that up and just keep it. Just bring it into my house and use it as a lawful lamp. Yeah, here's uh, here's some Corsac troopers. Corsac standing for uh, I think Corellia security. I think they just kind of like you know patrol Corellia in space because you know not not just Corellia itself because this is Talus. You know obviously Corsac are here. What are you doing here, trooper? Where are the flails at? Here you are, flails. Oh, this doesn't look too promising. Looks like these giant, giant Dalarakes have uh, caused these flails some trouble. Perhaps. I'm not sure. This is a lot less interesting than those other battles, even though it has uh, better scenery. That's unfortunate. But anyways, that's the Corsair versus Flail battle, I guess, you know. Uh, minus the battle. Where else, uh, can we go? Sure, let's go to the Lost Village of Durban. Though there's a waypoint to it, so I'm not, in, not entirely sure how it's lost. If it's right there on the map. Yeah, I will, uh, I guess I'll see you there. Is there a shuttle port near, near it? Yeah, it's kind of far away. Yeah, I'll just meet you there. Or maybe it's not that far. Because there are all these unlisted, uh... Wait, no, never mind. I'm not gonna keep this part in. I'm just gonna cut through it. Huff done. A huff done is a gigantic herbivorous herd creature. Relatively peaceful, they tend to ignore small creatures around them. Few have successfully domesticated a huff done or kept one in captivity. That's interesting. Ah, load in. Oh, hey, here's uh, another uh, ATAD house. 
Hopefully I can enter this one. If I cannot, I will be sorely disappointed. And I, I will curse whoever decide to have this awesome house. And decide not to let anybody in it. Will you let me in, dude? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, you glorious man or woman, whoever owns this house. We'll probably have to wait for the furniture to load in, but... Yep, there we go. Oh. This is a very lavishly decorated place for an uh, AT-AT. Got a little kitchen area here. With one of those uh, Sarlacc trash cans. Alderaan flora. Those are rare plants. Young washer trees. Wow. Throne of Dark Meditation. I guess it's like a uh, a replica of Darth Vader's chair. Let's sit. Let's sit down in it. What is it, General? I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna have to, like, edit that, uh, that clip of the movie into this particular area. Homscan has indicated something, something, I don't recall the scene. Oh god. Just all these, uh... All these spider webs and such. This is a creepy place to, uh, to hang out. What is this? Oh, somebody turned up, turned these, uh, desks upside down, so it looks like there's spikes on the floor. That's clever. That's very clever. Very, very interesting, uh, room here. We got uh, all these little statuettes and such. Kneeling Vader. Hey, it's an ATAT -AT head. Awesome. Very, very lavishly decorated house. Props to whoever, uh, whoever owns this ATAT -AT house. Props indeed. <laughs> you got, you got a little ch children's bed in here. Little children's room. That's hilarious. I do not recognize like half of these uh half of these pieces of furniture, really. Not at all. Hmm. Anyways, uh how do I get off here? This way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this uh Keep this particular bit of footage for this tour. Oh, yeah, apparently this is the most expensive house ever. I would not, I would not question that. With all those uh, extremely expensive pieces of furniture you have in there, as well as the house itself, several hundred million credits just for the house itself. Anyways, on to our destination. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this. Uh, this tour of this house in this video, or if I'm going to keep it for a future video. You shall see. I think we're coming up on the uh, Lost Village of Durban. Not really that close to the waypoint yet, but I'm starting to see these uh, buildings that don't really look like player buildings. Yeah, I think this is it. God. How many panthers are there there? Oh god. 
Stay away from me. Oh god. I ran through a couple of them. Yeah, I think the uh, the story for this place speaks for itself. It was obviously raided by greater sludge panthers. And all of its residents eaten. That's unfortunate. You think they would have uh, defenses for this kind of thing, but apparently not. Let's uh, go inside some of these houses. Just see what's in. Just see what's in them. Oh, apparently I'm not allowed for some reason. This is also unfortunate. I will avenge these people once I equip my weapon. Where's my weapon? There it is. Oh, sludge panthers! There's one down. Aha! I've defeated you, sludge panthers. But that's it. I'm not sure why that house is glowing like that. Not sure if that's a graphical error. What is that? Are you glowing house? Okay. Yeah, it was just a graphical error. Anyways, where are we going next? What's of interest? Not going to any creature caves. It's a bunker. We can go check out the containment center. Right below uh, Skynet, apparently. bike. Call our ITV. Well, apparently I'm not allowed to uh, call pickup for this location. Call for a pickup! Ah! There's all these houses here. There we go. Alright, let's go down to Skynet. It's always a good idea, right? Derek and Nashal. At least two cities will never challenge Coronet for glamour. They're almost the only places on Talos a traveler can find urban comforts, such as banks, com commodities markets, and cloning facilities. I was not not uh, aware that cloning facilities were considered urban pleasures. I forget what the what the term was there. Urban comforts. I was not aware that cloning facilities was an urban comfort. Anyways. Oh, I'm on my wrong door. Taller speeder. Let's go check out that detainment center. I will see you there. up here because the uh, the light from the sky did not uh, appear for me. And I was not aware I was almost here. Looks like this is an Imperial Detention Center, so they'll probably just let me in. What's in here, guys? Looks so far just like another generic bunker. Oh wait, no, this is, this is a little bit different. This is very different. Very different layout for a bunker indeed. Not sure why there's these uh, yellow flashing lights here. Hmm. I'm thinking this is just another uh, place for rebels to go to. Like when they're bored. They just want to kill a bunch of Imperials. So far, I'm not really seeing any, uh... Not seeing any objects that I can interact with. Let's go check out that big, huge room there.
This is a restricted area. Watch what you do here. Oh, fine. I'm an Imperial. I mean, obviously I don't look like it, because I'm a fish man, but, you know, I'm an Imperial. I wonder whose office this is. Override terminal. Yeah, I think this is just another, uh, like, NPC base that people can go into. But it's a different layout, so I'm gonna show it anyways. Not sure where all the prisoners are. Maybe it's just a mostly unused prison. We've got spotlights here. That's cool. What about these, uh... This room here. Looks like prison cells. And I'm right. They're all empty. But, you know, the prison cells. Move along. Move along. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna check out these uh, prison cells. Very similar in design to a the uh, prison cells on the Death Star. What about up here? Let's go check out up, that up there. Just to see what it looks like. Get the full tour of this place. Can I help you, citizen? I'm not a citizen. I'm an imperial asshole. Well, that's just that's just more cells. My bad. Is that a plant? I thought I saw like a house plant over there. I'm not sure why that would be so interesting to me, but. You're a droid. Cool looking droid. Obviously, uh, medical facility. Bunch of back to tanks and such. You can actually get a back to tank for your house. I saw one on the, uh, on the bazaar actually. It's pretty cheap. It's only 75 million. I mean, I know that sounds extremely expensive. But, you know, that is, like, dirt cheap for, like, an actual back-to-tank. Because those are, like, extremely rare. There's only, like, a couple on the server. Uplink terminal. Yeah, this is all just rebel stuff. What about these rooms back here? Let's go check, that, check out those rooms. As the final part of this, uh, as a tour of this detention facility. Just looks like a power room, it's like reactors and such. Maybe not reactors, but you know, power stuff. Well, that's it for this uh, detention facility. It's cool seeing like a different layout for a building, at least, I guess. Anyways, where do we want to go to next? Points of interest. Let's go see what's, what Aaron Sif is about. I think it's uh, probably just going to be like Mordrin on Naboo. Like some random NPC out in the middle of nowhere who, for whatever reason, has a point of interest all to his own. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go check it out anyways. That's going to be a, both a long walk out of the facility and a long drive, so I'll just see you there. This is cool. It's like a... Uh, it's like a, a canyon river that leads out into the ocean. That is very cool. Huh. Anyways. Back to, uh... Go and see Aaron Seth. Looks like we have a uh, small city here called Hope. Very generic name, but, you know... Whatever. 
That appears to be nestled right next to this, uh, this, this waypoint. This waypoint called Aaron Sif, whatever Aaron Sif may be. Looks like he has a booker of his own. It looks like he is, uh, has his own gang of mercenaries. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Hey, dude. For some reason, all these guys have names. And you look very spiffy. Look very professional with your little little set of goggles there. Yeah, this looks just like another generic bad guy hat out. Doak Sif. Her Sif? Aaron Sif. Huh. Interesting. Let's go kill them. Kill them all. Die, Sif family. Kill me with your you and your little skirt, shirtless man. All right. Well, I don't think there's any point to that, aside from you know a couple credits. I'm pretty much destroying a random gang out in the middle of nowhere. Do you have anything uh, interesting to click on? You have an axial container. But again, nothing are in those. Well, that was a somewhat amusing little side trip. Crunch Bar kills gangs for his own amusement. Yeah. Anyways, um, where do we want to go to next? Let me just get out of this facility first. Let me go see the uh, Kamura Biogenetic Research sta Station. Hopefully there's a shuttle port near there. Yes, there is. Basically right next to it. Let's see if we can, uh, call an ITV. There we go. River mouth. Alright, I think that's actually the research facility right over there. As soon as you land, you see it. Let's go check it out. And we have all these, uh, all these Kamuras. I think Kamura is a, uh, a generic offshoot of the regular Mura. Go, go ahead and kill them all. Oh. We're all piling together. I can't target a single one. Come on, Crunch Bar, you can hold out. Yeah. Huh. Well, anyways. This might actually be somewhat dangerous. Maybe. Maybe just when we find those mutated cameras. Kamura Blanca. You look different. You have like uh, larger horns, horns and such. Oh. Apparently, there's a collection associated with you. Hunting trophy of Amura Blanca. That's cool. This. That's actually a uh, very nice Ubi Spracer. Oh, hi, dude. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. Jeez, I'm trying to mess around with my inventory. Get all up in my business like you 
go in place. Yeah, it looks better than uh, what I have already. Slightly worse kinetic protection, but it provides more energy. And also constitution. Constitution. So let's go ahead and equip that. We're a little bit mismatched now, as far as the uh, aqua stuff goes, but we get slightly better protection and stats. Oh god, more mutated... more us. Come, Rose. Stop pushing through each other. I can't target you when you do that. Let's skip through you guys. Kamara Bioengineer. Hmm. Not sure how you're uh, able to just stand around these very hostile creatures without getting attacked. Maybe they like recognize you as part of their herd or something. I don't know. Huh. Almost right on by you guys. Don't mind me. Comma bioengineers all over the place. Hmm. Well, this, is, this was an interesting little side trip. But there's uh, nothing really here. Huh. Anyways. Well, at least we got a uh, Mora Blanca hunting trophy. That's something, I guess. Gives us something to do when we uh, go tour the other planets. Search for uh, trophy creatures. What are the other trophy creatures, by the way? Collections. Hobbies? No. Slayer. There we go. Painted Spot. A finned blackguard. A bane black spider. A scorpion clicknick. A spike tail blurg. And a mutated acclay. I know where a mutated acclay is, but I'm not sure where all these other people are. What do I get for doing this, anyways? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, wait, there it is. No, I know that. That shows you a completed the collection first. Huh. Well, good job, Devo Siege. I might do that, just to go around and kill all these trophy creatures. We'll see. Yeah, that's the uh, Kamara facility. Where do we want to go next? Points of interest. This should decay my cave. Weapons depot. Sure, why not? Shuttles? We can take the shuttle there. It looks like it's like a little bit drive away from the uh, the old Republic city, so I'll just uh, I'll just meet you there. No, my shuttle. No, let's buy a ticket. Huh? Let's buy the uh, buy a ticket to the Imperial Ford base. That seems closer. Unfortunately, we have to wait for this for the shuttle. We have to wait 29 seconds. You guys won't. I'll just fast forward. Thynok, a genetic offshoot of the more common Minoc. These small creatures are found high in the mountains. Having no arms or legs, the Vinoc uses the small tentacles that surround its head to locate its food and draw it to its mouth. What will it be to the pirate who doesn't check for Vinox before takeoff? As the Vinox diet consists only of metals, spacecraft are a banquet for these creatures. Much the same as Minox. Banquet. Banquet. I kinda said banquet weird there. Huh. Got any little, little outpost here, that's cool. Where are these red dots? Who are you? 
Famish sludge, sludge Panthers. Oh no. That looks like we got a, uh, a white waypoint to the same place, basically. Let's check it out. Hopefully we'll be allowed in this time, and it won't kick us out because we're, like, non-PVP enabled. What's this? It's like a random pathway for no reason. Yeah, we gotta be an active duty member. Damn. Well, that was a short trip. Probably wasn't that interesting anyways. Where else? Where else? I guess I'll show off the Imperial Outpost. Sure, why not? It's, uh, fortunately, there wasn't a shuttle away from the Imperial Outpost. Imperial encampment. That's fine, we can just, uh... We can just use our ATV. That's what it's there for. On well, combat. Oh god! Being attacked by a what is this? By Huff Dun. So just in case you were wondering what a Huff Dun looked like, that's what it looks like. It's a giant, giant creature. I'm not sure why my uh, attacks are not going through. Why aren't you being affected by attacks? Okay, there we go. Huge creature. You have any interesting loot? No. Huh. Well, whatever. Let's go track on that ITV again. And hopefully, giant, giant, huge carnivores will not uh will not attack us while we're trying to do so. I think there's no place large enough. What are we talking about? There's all this all this flat space, dude. Game. Uh, I'll try to find flat space. The Talus Liberation Party. One of the political factions active during the Starbuster plot, they were struggling for their world, along with Talus to secede from the Krellian Alliance and govern themselves. Huh. That's interesting. That's another thing, I guess. Uh, Krellia is known for being, like, the neutral planet. They fight for their own neutrality and things like that. So they're not really owned by the Empire or the Rebellion. They're just kind of like their own people. Fiercely independent. Oh god. All these stormtroopers just spawned in at the same time. But yeah, this is the Talos Imperial Outpost. I guess from the sky it looks like this giant six-pointed star. Very interesting. And, uh... There are actually people of interest to talk to. Like this guy, Seth Lake. Are you important? I have a simple mission for you, soldier. I'm not here for missions. I'm here for a tour. More importantly, there's uh, this chick in here. Akasha Cyrene. Who is uh, the very first pilot trainer you talk to if you uh, want to go down this particular Imperial... Imperial pilot tree. Why well, aren't you a cute one? Well, I can't argue with that. My name is Akasha Cyrene. Is there something I can do for you? No, not right now. Maybe later. Actually, I'm going to be joining the Imperial Navy. There there are three uh, pilot trees for the Imperials. Just like there's uh, three pilot trees for the Rebels. Three pilot trees for the uh, neutral factions. This is the start of one of the Imperial pilot trees. It's like kind of like the Shadow Ops tree. They go in and uh, you know do things very subtly. Things that you can't really trust the Imperial Navy with, because the Imperial Navy is like, like the steamroller. They're the people you call in to smash things up and destroy things, and these people are more subtle than that. I've done uh, this pilot tree a 
couple of times. And obviously they allow aliens. Normally the Empire is very, uh, has a very strict anti-alien policy. But uh, this particular tree allows aliens who are very skilled pilots. I mean, all of, like out of character, all of the trees allow any kind of pilot, but, you know, for story purposes, this is the, uh, the more accepting tree. Anyways, that's the Imperial Outpost. A bunch of bunkers and very, very Imperial E. Imperial stuff ish. I'm not sure why there's these pirates here. Just kind of chilling out. Whatever. So, yeah. Let's go check out the uh, Imperial vs. Rebel battle. Call my dilapidated speeder once again. Figure out how to get out. Get out of here. Alright. This way. Huh. Apparently I did not get the badge until I uh, went to the entrance of the outpost, as opposed to just inside of it. Uh, that's kind of far away, so I'll just meet you there. Yeah, so it looks like we're almost there. About uh, 300 meters away. Looks like we have a, uh, a base of some kind over there. Probably a rebel base, considering there's a downed AT, at Or not. It is an Imperial base. My bad. I have a dude sitting up in the watchtower there. That's cool. It's a nice touch. Downed at, -AT. Where are the rebels at? I'm not sure where the rebels are. Wait, no, that's the player city. Got all sorts of downed uh, Imperial stuff here. Poor bomber. So I see where the Imperials are. I'm not sure where the Rebels are, though. Can I go in here? Lots of very high-level stormtroopers. There's probably no one important here. It's normally the rebel bases that have important people. The uh, the imperial bases, not so much. It's normally, I think the uh, the emperor's retreat is like the big one, where uh, important imperials are. I don't think they're found anywhere else, really. Crawling in. Another random civilian wandering by. <laughs> Again, another another battle that isn't so much a battle, so much as it is just people kind of standing around. Wait, who are these? No, that's just a polish. Yeah, that's that. Um... Is there anywhere else? I know that there's another race I can do. Wait, there's a there's a there's a quest that I can do in Derek. Derek, Starport, over here. So I'm gonna go over there quick and uh, show you the start of that quest. Not sure if I'm gonna do the quest though, but uh, I'll at least show you the start of it. Starport. Let's go. Oh no, I, I, oh, there's people shooting. Ah. I saw them pointing their guns at each other, but unfortunately I had already traveled. I think they were just shooting the Aqualish anyways. I don't think it was actually Rebels. So yeah, now we're in uh, Derek. Very colorfully dressed Wookiee here, called Rel, Rel Rika. I was not aware you could uh, get this uh, particular Wookiee armor colored blue like that. Oh god. Apparently he, ha he has no armor underneath this uh, 
This very colorful clown looking armor. I, I didn't need to know that. Anyways, we are in uh, Dyark now. And the quest I want to show you is, uh, isn't that far outside of the starport, so I shouldn't have to. There's another person. Another Wookiee. Hopefully you're wearing actual armor. Yes, you are. Thankfully. Hm. Okay. And we're just gonna go right over here to the cantina. There's probably all these, like, high-level dudes, like, chilling out here. Because, uh, this is, like, one of the, one of the cities you battle over. See, the Imperials are invading in 26 minutes. It's the same as Vestine in that way. But I'm not gonna show that. And the start of this quest... Starts with our friend Mort here. Hi, Mort. I'm a bit busy here, okay? This glass I need is the only this glass is the only friend I need. Oh. Well, I was gonna buy you another friend, but I guess not. Well, one can never have too many friends, I guess. Bontender, another one of these. So I assume this friend comes with a price. I'm just curious. You look familiar. Mort chuckles. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Considering I used to have more brothers than those people on this planet. You're a clone? Guilty. Never met a clone before. Do you work for the Empire? I was part of liberating the galaxy and bringing our glorious Empire to power. Nowadays, I just drink. That's not possible. I thought you all died young. See this arm? Well, it's not the only thing that's not flesh in my body. I would have been better off dying with the rest of them, though. Why do you say that? What can I do? I'm a washed-up soldier who knows nothing else, except drinking. I'm getting, I'm getting really good at that. My life has no purpose. That can't be. What happened to you? I was bred to be part of one of the clone trooper commando squadrons. Elite four-man teams causing disruption behind enemy lines. I know, I know what that means. Commandos. Wink, wink. Republic Commando. I didn't help you if I go watch it. Anyways, during during the Battle of Kashi, I and my squadron had one such mission: taking out a commando bunker, command bunker inside, deep inside enemy territory. You really interested in this? Yes. Please go on. The mission was going well. It wasn't the first time we've done something like this. We blew up the bunker and were on our, were on our way to be extracted when the enemy found us. We not notified command that we were under attack, but would still be on time for it at extraction. We worked our way towards it as quickly as we could, dispatching the pursuers by the dozens. Yes? As we approached the extraction point, we saw our lat take off. That's those uh, big clone ships. The, uh, the dropships. There was barely any em enemy left in none, none of the extraction point, but our commander saw us as expendable clones who would rather lose us than risk a carrier. What did you do? We tried to make it back towards our own ranks, but we were deep inside the Kashyyyk forests. And let me tell you, those forests are deep. Over the next few weeks, I experienced the deaths of my three brothers and, uh, to wildlife. Enemies, and nature itself. I thought clones didn't... <laughs> that is an extremely rude thing to say, Crunch Bar. I thought clones didn't have feelings. <laughs> so did our commanders. But let me tell you, kid. I felt pain so strong it would have been my own as my... It could have been my own as my brothers fell. So how did you eventually end up here? For months. Maybe even years, I was living in the forest of Kashyyyk, doing a fight over food with one of the monstrous creatures on the planet. Before I could just, before I could put it down, I lost my arm. I just laid back, laid it down on my back, and thought, well, that was it. But it wasn't, obviously. No, as I was laying there, bleeding to death, 
A research expedition happened upon me. They saved my life, but had ulterior motives. Dr. Ortars, the leader of the expedition, saw me as the perfect lab animal and started experimenting on me. And I thought my life was tough. Eventually, I regained my strength, though, and put an end to the experiments. Permanently. I managed to sneak onto a freighter and make my way to here. And that about wraps up my life story. Amazing. Have you been here ever since? Well, I did try to track down my old commander for some good old revenge a few years ago. By that time he was, by that time he was a high-ranking officer in the Empire. I had no chance to get to him, so I gave up. Is he still alive? Yes. He's retired now, but not much easier to get to, especially in my state. From what I've managed to find out, he's running a racket smuggling Imperial weapons so he can get a hold of. Wait, smuggling Imperial weapons he can get a hold of with old contacts, selling them to anyone willing to pay. Why don't you turn him in? If the Empire found out I was alive, well, let's just say I wouldn't stay that way. Besides, I don't have any evidence. Say I had some time to look into this. Where would I start? You are something else, friend. <laughs> if nothing else, you brought a smile on my face for the first time, and... Well, maybe the first time. If you're serious, though, he's running his operation out of the hotel in Karen on Naboo. His name's Morkov. Karen? You've been there before. I will look into it, my friend. You want another? Actually, I think I'm fine. I'm not getting my hopes up. But if you're actually going to check out, check into it, I wish you good luck. Thank you. I'll be back and let you know what happened. You are something else, friend. Now, will I do this on camera? I'm not sure. I think it's kind of a long quest. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do that uh, off camera. I think. You know what, what? What have I got to lose? Well, I've got a hard drive, hard drive space to lose, but. Huh. KNP seven one. You look like an actual dark trooper, considering you're uh, properly colored. Oh God! Oh God! An ATAT, ATSD. Excuse me, gentlemen. Here are you. A wounded rebel. Oh no. Huh. Anyways. Uh, should I do this on camera? This is just a tour video. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna do this on camera, just for you guys. We're gonna help our good friend Mort. Let's go to Karen Naboo. I know exactly where he is. Karen, and we are going to be dealing with evil. I don't think it actually gives you a, uh, a waypoint, you just kind of have to like investigate on your own. But luckily, I already know where everyone is, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. So I cross this bridge, go to the actual city of Karen. to uh, wait for this person who's right here to search us. Anyways, 
onto the onto the hotel, which is just around this corner. And it should be one of these back rooms. Yep, there it is. Morkov. Hey, Morkov. That's lagging. Stop lagging. Morkov, talk to me. How may I assist? Um. Let's let's be sneaky about this. I'm on here behalf of my master, Job of the Hut. Another one? Can you please tell your master to stick to the same person doing his business? Okay. Not sure what kind of uh this guy was an Imperial, so he should probably have an Imperial accent. To stick to the same person doing his business. You know now he like whatever, I'm just gonna talk normally. It's getting a little tiresome doing background checks on all of you. A lot of people in my master service have a short lifespan. Morkov chuckles. Yeah, I suppose that would be true. Never mind on the background check. What does the hut want this time? Hmm. Let's make it one standard tie and five crates of E11s. Hmm. The tie will take a little work. Going to need a week for that one. The crates I can have ready for you when you arrive at the usual location. Usual location? Did they not tell you anything? My information was very sparse. I'd say. Very well. There's an empty building located across from the hotel in Deja Peak. A courier will meet you upstairs in that building. Yep, like I said. Uh, Deja Peak is one of the places you go to. So, let's uh, go pick up a shuttle to Deja Peak. And also, luckily, luckily for you guys, I know the exact building where that is as well. There's a shuttle. Let's go up these stairs. Go up these stairs. Go over to the shuttle. This might not take as well, long as, uh, as I was thinking it would be. We're lagging a little bit. Lose your frame rate. Not sure why. Alright, uh... Deja Peak. There we go. There's some uh, background with Gungans if you really want to really want to know. I mean, if you really want to know about Gungans. All right, Deja Peak. Let's cross this bridge. Should be in one of those uh, nearby buildings up there on the left side. Yep, this one right here. Go for speeder crunch bar. I right, should be upstairs in one of these rooms. This one? Yep. Who will pull? Finally. I don't like waiting. Where's the creds? Oh, I didn't bring any. Ah! I knew something was wrong when Morkov told me about you. <laughs> Bodyguards, die. Dangerous logs. Dangerous logs. Do I have to, like, go click on something? In this room, perhaps? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Consult my journal. The courier had on him logs of all his in Morkov's transactions. Okay, I already picked up the logs. Okay. Alright. I'll meet you back at, uh... Back on Talos and Derek. And talk to Mort to give Mort the, uh, the logs. Alright, we are back in the cantina on Derek. And we're gonna give those dangerous logs to Mort. 
Hey, Mort. There you are. How are things going? Quite well. I recovered these logs of Morkov's business. Mort looks through the data on the log. This is really good, Crunchbar. I don't pretend to understand everything that's on here, but I bet the Empire would be very interested in this. He's even sold equipment to the Rebel Alliance. I bet you are right. What are you going to do? I'm going to show this to someone with Imperial Authority. Mort chuckles. Revenge will finally be mine. What a fitting end for old Morkov, too. Come back and let me know what happened. I can't wait. Alright, turning in the traitor. Uh, there are three endings to this. Since I'm part of the Empire, I'm going to go the Imperial route. If you were neutral, you'd uh, do something else. And if you are a rebel, you would do something else. Who's this? Look, man. Interesting. Uh, what do I do here? Head to the Association Hall in Karen on Naboo and talk to an Imperial officer in charge. Okay. Will do. I will, uh, meet you back in Karen. Alright. Karen. Association Hall. Where is the Association Hall? I'm not entirely sure. There's one of these buildings down here. I think it's this one. Oops. That's just the, uh, that's just the theater. Association Hall. Would it happen to be this one? This building right here? It's an Imperial building. So, maybe. Imperial guys, Imperial guys. It's not looking like it. No. No. Okay, not there. Where's the one you need to go to? This one? This is also an Imperial building. Where am I? Anybody to talk to in here? Maybe? Ah, loading. Load the furniture already. One second, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is actually a uh, post comp, post uh, episode recording. Like I actually recorded the full episode already, but uh, this is me coming back to record something that I missed out on. Because during editing, I uh, I realized that a portion of footage was missing, and this was because uh, I had tabbed out of the game and I uh, I stopped recording for a moment to uh, look up where I was supposed to go. And uh, when I came back, uh, apparently I forgot to start recording again. And because of this, uh, I missed out on a key bit of footage. Very, Some very awesome meetings between awesome people. So uh, luckily I still have the voice recordings for those segments, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to those areas, uh, stand in front of those people, and do I have, still have records of those? Yeah, I should. I think I still have the records of those uh, conversations in my chat bar, luckily. And uh, I'm gonna go stand in front of those people, and I'll play th I'll play the uh, voice recordings, and I'll just kind of scroll down through the chat bar so you can read if you read along if you want to. All right, so uh, let's go to uh, Major Raiv. He's the first person that we talked to in the missed footage. He is in this building right over here. He 
Here's Major Ra Raiv. What do you have to say to us now that all is said and done? Uh, nothing important. So let's try to uh, find find that particular conversation. Major Raiv. What does this soldier? This data pad contain this, this data pad contain without an S important information regarding a traitor. Really? Very well. I'll send it to Intel for analyzing. Wait a moment, and I'll have their reply for you. What the heck did you have me send them? You need to go downstairs immediately. There's a hollow call waiting for you. From who? Just go down there, soldier! Oh, okay. Then we went downstairs to meet a very important person. I'm not sure if it's gonna let me in that room, though. Yes. And then... Me and Emperor Palpatine. I knelt in front of him. He is the Emperor, after all. Even Darth Vader kneels down to the Emperor. Then we go to, uh... Oh, I need to find the Emperor's dialogue. And so we meet Crunchbar. I just wish it hadn't been under such distracting circumstances. Y yes, my lord. Come closer. Let me see you. Yes, I understand that you don't quite grasp what it is you have come across, so let me explain. Thank you, my lord. Although this Morkov is indeed the spider in the web, the treachery reaches deep in our glorious empire. The information you sent us is allowing my loyal subjects to find and remove these disturbances quickly and efficiently. I'm glad I could be of service, my lord. So you have been, Crunchbar. So you have been. There is one more favor to the Empire I'd act like to ask of you, though. Of course, my lord. Morkov. I want all of the logs from his business, and then I would never want to hear of him again. Am I making myself clear? Yes, my lord. I understand. Good. I am most pleased. Until we meet again, Crunchbar. And then we, uh... We didn't salute to the Emperor. But we shall salute him now. That, that's the Imperial salute. I guess. The fist over the heart. And then we went ahead and did as the Emperor told test us with. And that would be over at the hotel. And we killed Morkov. As bodyguards, he, he spawned here so that other people can do the quest. Can I talk to him? Oh, okay. Nothing important. Yeah, we killed Morkov, killed his bodyguards, and that was that. Then once that was done, we, uh, we, don't, we went off to see our good friend Mort. Uh, luckily I have the footage of that. That was when I realized that I hadn't been recording. So yeah, you'll uh, you'll get to hear me figure out about figure out that uh, I hadn't been recording again, and you know, I guess I'll see you then. All right, so we're uh, we're making our way into the uh, cantina. 
and I would talk to Mort again, but unfortunately, I already did that. I already, uh, did his dialogue and I got my rewards for it. I leveled up from the experience. I completely forgot to start recording again. So I apologize for that, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, read through his, uh, read through his dialogue. As though we, uh, Actually, I already have the uh, voice recording, so I might just uh, play through that right now. Where is his uh, dialogue? Where's your dialogue, Mort? There we go. I will uh, start playing the, di the dialogue I had with Mort right here. Good to see you, Crunchbar. That's new. Morkov finally got what he deserved. Oh, are you sure? What happened? After I turned in the evidence, the Emperor ordered his termination. And you're sure they went through with it? Yes. I was the one who had to carry out the sentence. After all these years, I can't believe it. When you went on your way to Naboo, I didn't truly expect to actually get my revenge, but you proved me wrong, my friend. I may sound bloodthirsty, but after what that scum did to me and probably thousands of others, you deserved it. Trust me. I agree, or I wouldn't have gone through with this. I couldn't possibly repay what I owe you, but I, but I did save something that you may find useful. If you're interested, I still have my old combat armor. I don't need it anymore. I'd be honored to put it to use. So what will we do now? I'll just finish living my life, maybe cut back on the drinking some, try to straighten myself out. Sounds good, my old friend. My friend, not my old friend. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Crunchball. Stop by someday. Let me know how you're doing. And then at the end of that conversation, we uh, do a little like air handshake here. <laughs> good to see you, Crunchball. How are you doing? Everything is going well, Mort. How are you? Things are not looking too bad. Got myself a job working security at the space station. Not glamorous, but it's something to do. Still enjoying a drink, though? Port laughs. Yeah, but only on my days off. Which reminds me, you should probably get, go and get some rest. It's great to see you again, Crunchball. Take care of yourself. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry I was not able to uh, show the dialogue as it, as it happened. Hopefully, uh, that is a uh, an acceptable substitute. But yeah, as uh, as he said, he gave us his armor, his guitar armor. Uh, right now I have it equipped underneath my appearance items. Let me go ahead and take off my appearance items. Unequip appearance. And you might notice that uh, the helmet does not distort at all. Let's go ahead and put on the uh, the rest of it. The helmet does not distort at all due to Crunchbar's very odd head shape, and this is what makes this armor unique. Uh, anyone can wear this armor. Anyone can wear the helmets, even though they look like they should only be worn by humans. Uh, they can even be worn by like species who aren't able to wear normal human armor. They can be worn by Wookiees. They can be worn by Athorians. You know those things that have those huge long slug heads. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's just an odd thing about this armor. And this armor makes me look fat. It is not very, uh... It is not very... It doesn't leave very much to the imagination, unfortunately. Yeah, that is the Kintar armor. It's uh, one of three styles of armor. This is the Imperial armor. It's the uh, black on ye the yellow on black uh, style. The neutral choice, the neutral armor, is blue on, blue on white, like the normal clone trooper armor. And the rebel armor is red and white. So yeah, that's cool. We got this uh, awesome black armor, and it also provides excellent protection. Not a, not quite as good as what players can make, but it's still very good. It's very much, it's much better than our, uh, where's the Ackley armor? Much better than what our Ackley armor gives. So that's cool. 
But, uh, we are not going to be uh, looking like this. We are completely unrecognizable as Crunch Bar in this armor. So what we'll do is uh, we'll take off, take those off. Go ahead and uh, re-equip our other appearance items. So that we become Crunch Bar once again. Equip that, equip that. Where's my chest armor? There it is. And we're gonna keep the belt because the belt looks better than uh, what we had before. This one was like it like glitched out and it like made us look fatter than we already are. Yeah, look at this armor. This armor is very slimming. It's not like the Katarin armor where it makes us look just chubby and obese. So yeah, that's cool. Again, apologies that I missed out on the uh, the actual footage. But there you go. Hopefully that is an acceptable substitute. And, uh, like most of these videos, we're getting it off for the race. The race will be up at Nishal. So, uh, I'll go ahead and meet you there at Nishal. Talos and its twin planet Trallis orbit each other as they circle the star Corel in the Krillian system. Apparently these, uh, planets are not moons. Yeah, my bad. They, uh, are twin planets. Kind of like, uh, almost like Pluto and its moon. Pluto's moon is, uh, like, almost the same size as it, if I recall, if I remember correctly. No, I'm not sure if Pluto's a planet anymore. They kind of, like, keep changing their mind on that. But anyways, uh, looks like the race coordinator is over there. Call our trusty speeder that has not yet failed us. Race coordinator. No, no. Bring the uh, bring the speeder bike up to race coordinator droid. There we go. Okay. No idea what that was about. I just randomly got a badge. Yeah, whatever. Race coordinator. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off this waypoint. Greetings. I am the coordinator for the Nashal River Race. Oh, River Race. That's cool. If you'd like to race the track, just let me know. How may I, so how may I serve you today? Let's see what Ben Quadnaros' uh, record for this is. Holy cow, that is a long time. 12.85 seconds. This is probably going to be a long race. So, I'd like to give this track a try. Why not? Go! And they're off!
Yes. Circuit complete. In under 600 seconds. Which would be 10 minutes. That is a freaking long race. Holy cow. Race coordinator. Got our uh, little celebratory fireworks there. We've added the Shell River Racetrack Champion to my badge collection. I wonder if there's like a badge for collecting all the badges for racing. Let's check. Collections. Hobbies, perhaps? No, no, no. No. Just some regular badges, I guess. Nope, doesn't look like it. it looks, it looks like we only have uh, one badge left. For luck. Alright. What's this? Apparently I defended against a raid without actually defending against a raid. Whatever. So, it looks like that's the, uh, the end of the tour. The end of the tour of Talus. So, we're ending kind of off here, right next to our friend, the race coordinator droid, with Crunch Bar, and, you know, him, of course. So, thanks for watching. This has been Super Vader Man, and may the Force be with Damn it! Stop it! Next planet. What's the next planet? Um, next planet. Well, we've got one race left to go, and that's on Locke. Sure, let the next planet be Locke. All right. Now it's time to end off. Yo, know, Super Vader Man, thanks for watching. May the Force be with you. Fuck. I just realized I'm not recording. Fuck.